Sakura. Why? Why is it always Gara? If he died like this, he's Kazakage. He just became the Kazakage. Try to calm yourself, Naruto Uzumaki. You shut up! Oh. If you San Shinobi hadn't put a monster inside of Gara, then none of this would have ever happened to him. Did you even consider how Gara felt? Did you ever even ask? Calling us Jinchuriki. What gives you the right to label us? Who are you to decide someone else's fate? <laughs> I couldn't save Sasuke. I can't save Gara. For three years, I've trained so hard. But nothing has changed. <gasps> Lady Chiyo, that jutsu. Hey, hey, what are you doing? She's going to bring Gara back. Bring him back to life? C can she really do that? Lady Chiyo, you're risking your life for Gara. No, not enough chakra. Please, use my chakra. You? But Gara is a Jinchuriki too. That's why Naruto has to save him. Place your hands on mine. In this ninja world of foolish old people, I'm glad young souls like you have come along. Up till now, everything I've done has been wrong. But before the end, I think I might finally be able to do something. Naruto, this is my last request. You're the only person who knows Gara's pain. Gara knows your pain as well. Please, look after Gara. Gara. to your rescue. I... Granny Chiyo brought you back with some serious medical ninjutsu. She was tired and fell asleep, but she'll be fine when she gets home. No. It wasn't medical ninjutsu. It was a reanimation ninjutsu. Lady Ch what are you talking about? I've heard of it. The Hidden Sand developed a jutsu that lets you revive a dead person in exchange for your own life. Granny. Naruto, Lady Chio entrusted the future to you and Gara. Hers was a death befitting a ninja. Yeah. Now I understand Granny's wish. Everyone, pray for Lady Chio. So long. 
Ja. I guess this is where we're supposed to shake hands or something, but I'm not really good at this stuff. So let's just 